Hey guys, welcome to my new movie review for the 2019 movie, Escape Room. This movie is rated M, and it goes for an hour and 39 minutes, and it's directed by Adam Robertel. I believe that's how you say his last name. First of all guys, I really want to talk about something that I write personally, I really, really, really get passionate about movies like this, is watching how they made the movie. And that's something that if you're watching a Netflix movie or something like that, that's, that's something that I actually don't like about the digital. Having Blu-ray copies is so much more advanced because of the fact that not all, but some of the movies that you watch nowadays have the makings on them when you buy the Blu-ray disc. And I absolutely love behind the scenes, watching the, the cast talk about how they did it and stuff like that. And just, yeah, the pure making of a movie like this. And I think it is absolutely essential to really discover the elements and the realism and the intensity of what the characters really bring to the table in a movie like this. And I really love that about this movie. This movie to me, guys, has one of the most brilliant, thrilling, intense, heart-pounding, punching opening sequences slash scenes of, of, of these sort of movies. And I love the opening of this movie. I absolutely love it. And just to tell you right now, guys, this for me is an absolute must watch. Seriously. The only thing in this movie that I didn't really understand, um, I want to sort of get this over and out of the way just and get onto my real thoughts of this movie, is they actually do, and there's two of them, there's, a, there's two Karate Kid references, but then it kind of, there's nothing after that, and I didn't really understand why they used those references, I don't know what it was, it didn't actually, it wasn't actually relevant to the rest of the movie at all. It was just some random throw in Karate Kid references and there's two of them, there's kind of one after the other. But they, I don't know, maybe maybe it was something that I missed, maybe not, I'm not too sure. But those two scenes for me were like, wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? But anyway, that's, yeah, I just had to throw that in there. This is something of the movie that I really, really loved more than anything about the movie, well, not more than anything, but really I just valued this so much, was the diversity in all the characters in this movie. That, for me, was a really, really big deal. It They just... They didn't, like, hate each other. They didn't all get along with each other. But the way they interacted with each other honestly, in my opinion, was perfect for a movie of this caliber, was just incredible. And when you see it, guys, you'll totally understand what I'm talking about. It really, really made so much sense for the diverse characters. And, you know, yeah, then they, you know, and how it gets into the story. It was so good. Another thing that I really, really loved about this movie that really, really just made me go, oh, man, they must have had so much fun with this movie, was the cinematography. The cinematography in this movie, guys, is absolutely incredible. So simple, so effective. Editing was just so, so, so ridiculously brilliant, and I, I, I ate it up, I really did. The cinematography in this movie was so brilliant, and I just had to put that in there because I just... It's movies like this that I'm just like, yeah, that, that it just, it really had me hook, line and sinker, honestly. So one of the things that makes a movie like this really incredibly vital and really, really makes the overall impact of the movie um, so satisfying to the audience that's watching it is the editing. The editing in a movie like this is so incredibly vital because if it screws up, if it's stuffed, if it's like wonky, if it's like, whoa, 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 what's, what, what am I following here? What's going on? It makes the biggest impact on the audience because 
we get taken out of the movie because we're like, wait, what's happening? And the editing of this movie, guys, is absolutely pristine. And that's one thing that I really, I just valued that the director put so much heart and soul and just so much passion into that, into this movie. It was incredible. So this is one of those type of movies, in my personal opinion, this movie was literally, and I love the saying, my cup of tea. It really, really is. This movie is just so incredibly thrilling, intense, moving. It's just, just it, it gets you thinking. You just, you're like, oh, what comes next? What comes next? What comes next? And it just really, really has you drawn in. And it just keeps drawing you in and drawing you in. And you don't, you just, you want to see what happens next. You want to see, oh, are they going to get out of this? Is this going to happen? Oh, what if this person does this? And it's just, it's, it really is my cup of tea, guys. This movie is absolutely brilliant. So one of the things about this movie, guys, that I have to say that I loved more than anything is how they are actually invited into the escape room. It's so ridiculously clever, it's so simple, and yet the practicality of, of how it becomes, it, you know, how, how it all for unfolds, and then all of a sudden, you know, they're all together, it's like, oh man, that's like, it's, all, it's, it's quite scary, but in the same way, it's really clever, and I, I really valued that with this movie, guys. So if you guys haven't seen the movie Cube, C-U-B-E, and I've done a movie review on that before, if you haven't seen that movie, it's not the same, it's not the same, but it's a very, very, very similar feel to it, really, really similar feel, um, and I absolutely love the Cube. As I said, these sorts of movies are just straight up my alley. I, I honestly, I, I really wish that they would make more of these movies because they just... They, they grab the audience and you, you always want to know what happens next. And the character, the characters that play them, to me, are so essential because you need people with, with as I said at the beginning of this movie review, diversity. You really need people with just different views of life and diff, different um, aspects of the movie to really keep that flow and the cube, that movie, the cube, has really, really, really similar character values as this movie does. You know, they all have their, they've all been through different things in life, and they all have their different ways and sort of, you know, different things of how they think and and life experiences is a massive key in movies like this. So in the first meeting when all the characters are gathered together, they all meet for the first time. I don't know why. I don't know why. But something about the lighting of the visuals in that scene, I don't really understand what it was exactly, but I absolutely loved the lighting effect. It was, I know this sounds such a weird thing to like and appreciate, but there was something about that opening, the, the meeting scene in the meeting where they're all meeting together, there's something about that lighting effect that I just, yeah, I, I really ate it up, guys. I really appreciate it. It, it just was one of those, it was one of those things in a movie that you're watching, you're like, oh yeah, okay, I get it, That that's just, yeah, that's, it's almost flawless, you know? Something about this movie, guys, that, that, that really made me just go, ah, oh, that just works so well, was the character interaction. The character interaction for any great movie is so incredibly vital, and especially in a movie like this, because the character interaction is really what tells the story at the end of the day. You know, obviously the plot is extremely vital, but the character interaction is what we want. That's what we want to watch. It's what we want to feel. It's what we want to really invest our time in and really go, okay, does it work? Does it not work? But when the character interaction and the character, you know, the, the chemistry between the characters like this really works, it's like, yeah, okay, it's just one of those things that's like, that makes so much sense. And I just, yeah, I, I love that part of this movie, guys. I really love the character development. It was incredible. So I have to say there was one, it was just a stupid, I don't know, it just annoyed me. It really annoyed me. In that, in the, 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 the meet scene where they all meet together, 
a situation happens, okay, a situation happens, and one of the characters, and you'll see when you when you see what the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. One of the characters, and it's kind of like one of those moments where you're like, really, really, he says, oh, he's wearing a suit. He's wearing a business suit, right? It's a suit jacket, full business suit. And he goes, oh, man, and he's like literally complaining the entire time. Oh, it's really hot in here. Oh, it's really, really hot in here. Oh, man. And he's just going on and he's kind of whining about how hot it is. And like when you see the movie, guys, you'll understand. It's like, dude, it's very easily to, to completely and totally change your situation. Take your jacket off. Like, it was just one of those things when I was watching it, I thought to myself, like, guys, like, when, like, it doesn't wreck the film, don't get me wrong, it doesn't wreck the film, it's not one of those things that you're just like, oh my gosh, are you serious? But it really was one of those moments in films where you're just like, dude, that is a very, very simple and practical thing to change, take your jacket off, but... Other than that, I really love this movie, guys. I just needed to tell you about that because it was, like, real weird. So I want to give you two bits of trivia about this movie, guys, that I found really, really interesting. After the death of the five Polish teenagers killed by fire in a real-life tragedy, which occurred in a real-life escape room in Poland, the release date of the film was pushed back in a number of countries to honour and respect the girls who died in the fire. That's really beautiful and touching and something that I really, really valued about this movie is that when they when they release movies like this and, you know, tragedy strikes, the, the um, studios know, you know, they've got to respect the public, you know, this... Things like this really happen in real life, guys. This is unfortunate, but real. The second piece of trivia that I want to share with you is the man responsible for creating the real-life escape room in Poland and who was charged with deliberately creating a fire that led to five teens being killed inside an escape room named Malowas. And in the movie... The name of the operator inside the escape room was my Noah's. Something that I personally really, really, really loved about this movie, guys, was the freezing scene. Now, the thing that blew my mind about watching the making of this scene was the fact that they really did pump some sort of gas into the air to make it really cold, but when you see the movie, you'll understand completely what I'm talking about when I say this. That freezing scene, and I don't, like seriously, I am not a fan of the cold at all in any way, shape, or form. I hate the cold. Winter's not my friend. I prefer the heat any time of day because it just it just keep drinking water and you know you just stay cool. You know what I mean? But I mean, I guess that when it gets to extreme temperatures, it's kind of annoying. But that seizing, freezing scene was brilliant, and I absolutely just thought they acted it incredibly well. It was so good. One of the scenes in this movie, guys, that I will absolutely say really, really thrilling was the pool room scene. I, I genuinely was watching that movie, and the intensity that the characters brought to that, that part of the movie... I 100% would say it is. It would honestly bring on anxiety for someone who had like anxiety like problems, because they really brought it, and I mean they really brought it. I want. I'm not, not going to give any spoilers away, but I'm telling you, when you get to that scene in the movie, you'll t you totally understand what I'm talking about. It is full on, and I loved it. In fact, in that scene, I completely 100% understand why the why Ben's character was so annoyed. I can I, I totally 100% got it because music that sounds completely messed off and just it's just warped to me personally. Uh, yes, I get it. I 100% understand like like winding that sort of music. No thanks. I'm good. I'll take a pass. I'll I'll just I'll I'll be outside. I'll be in the next room. I'm I'm good. I'll 
but th thanks for your time that I'll be over here. Yeah, no, I can't do that either. I completely understand how he was so irritated by that scene and yeah, 100% understood. In that scene, you'll totally understand when I'm go where, when I say this, guys. You'll completely get it when you see what I'm talking when you see the movie. I really, really felt for Amanda's character. I really, genuinely, one hundred percent felt for Amanda's character. I just there's something about the way they delivered that scene, and something about the intensity of it that I was just like, yeah, that that really struck a chord in me. I was like, yeah, that's extreme. Something of this movie that I need to tell you about is it's probably I think it's I believe it's the fourth or fifth room. I can't remember which one it is exactly, but you'll understand when you watch this movie. The explanation scene. I loved the explanation scene. And I mean, I really, really love the explanation scene. When characters really tell you and draw you into the story and then explain, like, so you got all this action, you got this thrill, you got the adventure, and then they kind of, they, they tone it down for a second to really tell you a story of exactly the plot and how they got to where they are in the room that for me was I really loved it I appreciated it that's that for me was just like oh okay now I want now I want even more and they do they it's just it's like it's kind of I don't know if it's in the middle of the movie I'm not too sure but it was one of those ah oh, I can relax for a second and just Take this in a bit, and then it goes on. It's amazing, guys. This is a huge nod to every single actor in this movie. I, I, I really, really, every bit of the acting in this movie had me. All of it. Every bit of the acting in this movie was completely convincing, in my opinion. It really was. This was one of those movies that you just watch and you're just like, yeah, I get it. I, I believe him. I really believe that that happened to that person. Just incredibly, incredibly executed. So good. Something that I believe that the director had a really good time in this film, guys, is how you think it ends and then how it really ends. I'm not spoiling anything for you, but you think it ends away for the main character and then the plot twist. I love movies that open up for a sequel and I really, really, really hope that they're working on a sequel, especially with an incredible script, because this film could honestly go as far as uh, Final Destination. I think that's what it's called, Final Destination. Those movies are so good. I just loved how you think something happens and then something else happens and you're like, ah, oh, yeah. That just, it really works for me. I really, I love that sort of stuff. As I said at the beginning of this movie review, guys, if you get a chance, I would highly recommend you to go and purchase this movie on Blu-ray. I really recommend and watch how they made it. Just, it gives you so much more of appreciation and it really makes me value what actors and characters go through to make something like this and just really just draws a beautiful picture of the dedication involved so that we get to experience something even better than just you know a throwaway movie that's like oh, yeah, this is just a backyard movie instead they give us just so much fun it's awesome so to finish this movie review guys i just wanted to tell you something that's kind of scary a little bit as i said in the trivia for this movie guys this stuff really happens. It, that's messed up. That's scary. And guys, don't do this sort of stuff. It's a movie. It's fake. Let actors act this stuff out and just enjoy watching them do it. If you're that much of a thrill seeker, calm down. <laughs> go on, just, go skydiving. I've done that before and that was incredible. This movie is 100%, as I said, my cup of tea. I really appreciate you guys watching this. This was a long movie review. I know it was. But there's a reason for that, because in my opinion, this movie is awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching my movie review. I really hope you like the, uh, the costume changes. I really had fun with that. And until, until my next movie review, you take care. Please leave a like if you like this. If you haven't already, subscribe and um, keep it real. Peace out. A-Town Down.